Hello everyone. So recently I watched the brand new live action Avatar The Last Airbender which premiered this past Thursday, February 22nd on Netflix. Uh, I didn't binge watch the entire season one, the entire season uh, in one day. I, I had to go to work. Uh, so I had to break it down into two days. Uh, I watched the first four episodes on the premiere date, which was Thursday, uh, the, the 22nd. And then I watched the last four episodes the following day. Um, uh, so yeah, so I binged, I binged it and I'm, I'm all finished. I'm all caught up. And before I get into my thoughts, my review, let me give you a little recap. Um, so I've never talked about Avatar The Last Airbender on here on my YouTube channel. So this is kind of like the first time. So I did recently post it. I just posted uh, recently uh, a video explaining my thoughts, uh, my, not just my thoughts and my opinion, but also, you know, just the general audience and the general critics uh, opinions of M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender. Um, so go ahead and check that video out. But if this is the first time, you, but if this, if this is the first video you clicked on, then um, let me give you some, a, a little bit of a recap. I love Avatar, The Last Airbender. I love this animated television series. I think um, I have seen you know, kids love watching cartoons. Um, I have seen dozens of animated television series on Cartoon Network, on Nickelodeon, on Disney Channel, PBS. I, I've seen dozens. But I think, yeah, I, I really can't think of any other animated television series that is as great as and you know iconic as avatar the last airbender like there's so much not not only is avatar the last airbender this animated television series not only was it meant you know the demographic obviously because it's on nickelodeon it's targeted towards children but there are so many adult themes in this television series that I was not expecting. Like as an adult, looking back at it and realizing it and reading about it and learning about it, I was like, I could not believe that this children, this animated kid show has some dark and adult themes and messages that it's exploring, that it's trying to tell to us, the audience. And I was that that my that's one of the reason why this is such Avatar: The Last Airbender is such a huge uh, cultural phenomenon, um, and I I just I love it. I love the animated television series. I remember coming back from elementary school uh, when I was a little kid. Coming back from elementary school, I would go down. I, I would come back from school. I would go to you know. I would sit in the living room and I would just watch like a new episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. And I was a really little, tiny little kid um, watching Avatar The Last, Last Airbender. And then I watched M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender movie, and I loved it. I loved it. But I was a fucking 10-year-old kid because as, an, as I grew older, when I became, like, I would say 17 or 18 years old, I rewatched Avatar The Last Airbender, the original show, and then I rewatched M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender, and that movie, M. Night Shyamalan's movie, just destroyed my the animated television. It destroyed my child. It tainted my childhood. <sighs> oh my god, it, it was so bad. It was so bad. M. Night Shyamalan's movie. Anyway, I'm not going to get into it. You can go watch my rant video, rant review discussion video on uh, over 
my that I recently uploaded. I'm not gonna get into it here. But man, looking back at it, I was just a 10 year old kid who didn't know anything. My brain was tiny. My brain was 10 years old. It was it was still developing. It was still learning. It didn't realize how atrocious that movie really was. Uh, I was like, ooh, colors, CGI, or, you know, special effects, flying creatures. Pretty. I didn't realize how awful. I was distracted by all that. I was taken in. I was taking all that in. I didn't realize how garbage that tele that movie really was. But anyway... After that, like, probably, like, it feels like, and then, you know, a couple years later, a couple, maybe several years later, here we are, Netflix, you know, made, made an announcement that they're making a live action, a brand new live action Avatar The Last Airbender, and I was, I, and a lot of people were like, were saying, don't, I mean, it's impossible to screw it up. Come on, it's impossible to screw it up because when you because when you're comparing this to live action, comparing this to there's only like there's only two adaptations of Avatar: The Last Airbender, besides um, the original one, M Night Shyamalan, and this one. And I'm like, it's a very low bar. They can't possibly screw this up. They can't. And then the, they announced the cast. And I was like, okay, the cast looks culturally accurate, which is something um, M. Night Shyamalan's film, Disastrous Film, did not get. It was a lot of whitewashing. Um, and then I got, and then I read a lot of feedback and people's opinions and people, you know, there was no backlash. There was no criticism with the casting of this, Nef of Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender. So I was like, so far, so good. Um, and then the trailer came out. And when, excuse me. Then the then the images started coming out. Uh, one with Katara, one with uh, uh, Sokka, or Soka, and then Aang, and then Zuko. And the images started coming out, and then the trailer. Finally, the trailer started coming out, and then here we are. And then after the trailers came out, after after the final trailer came out. I should say, the reviews for Avatar The Last Airbender finally came out, and it was mixed. Some people liked it, some people not hated it, hate is a very strong word, I, people didn't, a lot of critics and, you know, audience, they didn't hate it, but they were, they said that, some of them said that it was a major let, letdown or it was a disappointment, other people liked it. And thought that it was, you know, respectful and fun and entertaining um, to the source material. And so it was it was a little back and forth mixed bag. And I was kind of, after listening, after looking at the Rotten Tomato scores, I think it was like 59% Rotten. Not fresh, but Rotten. I was like, uh, that's, I mean, I don't know. I was I was kind of worried and cautious, and then I I was like, all right, let me watch it. Let me watch it, and I'll form my own opinion. So I did. Thursday, uh, Thursday evening, when I got back from work, I immediately went up to my room. I I you know upstairs to my room, and I sat down, opened Netflix, and I watched the first four episodes of. Avatar The Last Airbender. And then the next day I, I watched it and I watched the, the last four episodes. And here's what I will say after gathering it all together. Avatar The Last Airbender, this Netflix Netflix's adaptation of it, it started off, I was like, okay, pretty decent, pretty solid. Not great, but not terrible it was pretty solid opening it was a pretty solid very good opening like the first like like two or three episodes it was pretty solid i i liked it and then the middle happened 
where Avatar, and this is like, I feel like there are a lot of like live action adaptations are doing, are copying. I, I feel like this television series, this live action television series is copying other live action adaptations of other, of their own source materials where characters go on where like there's like a couple like there's like eight or ten episodes but like the characters in this case Aang, Katara, Sokka or Soka um I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna call them Sokka. Sokka they they the three of them just they just go from one place to another they go on different you know journeys and ex expeditions and they meet new characters uh they face new challenges and the story progresses meanwhile the story progresses through the you know through the finale you know all the way to the finale and that's the case here these three characters are going to different places going to different you know journeys and all of that I thought it was pretty mid. I, I thought it was pretty disappointing. And yes, there will be minor, some spoilers. So be a lookout for that. So, like, let me give, let me start with the, with the things that I didn't like. All right. So, I, I mean, like, Soka meets Suki, one of the Kyoshi warriors, a, you know, a Kyoshi warrior, and immediate, and then, like, immediately the two of them start, like, you know, gazing into each other's eyes, and they start falling for each other, and then they kissed. And then it happened again. Like, Soka meets another female character yuri princess yuri and then she's like and then he's like oh my gosh she's so cute she's so pretty and beautiful i have a crush on her and then the two of them meet and then they met each other and they kissed in like one episode i'm not so sure about that i i really i don't know how i feel about that like they just met and these two characters are just, you know, these characters are meeting for the first time, like, like, and they're already like, okay, whatever. I I didn't like that. Another thing I didn't like is like, yes, the middle part of the season was pretty disappointing, pretty mediocre. Yes, it did follow. I'm, I'm sure it follow. You know, yes, it did follow the source material. I don't know. Like, it started... This season... Season 1 started off... Pretty solid. And then... It was disappointing. Mid-disappointing. Kind of a letdown. I felt, you know, kind of a letdown. But then it ended... Awesome. Season 1 ended... Amazing. Awesome. I loved the finale. Like, the last two episodes of season one was great. I loved it. I was like, I was like thinking to myself, I wish the rest of the season was at, on the same level as the last two episodes, the finale. Like it was, it was grand. The characters, the acting, I mean, I'm not really familiar with any of these actors except um, two of them. Um, the actor who plays uh, Uncle Iroh, and then the actor who plays uh, Fire Lord Ozai. Um, but yeah. So I those two actors I am familiar with because I've seen them in other movies and other televisions and projects. But the rest of them, the rest of these young, talented actors, it's my first time, you know, being, you know, introduced to them, you know. And I don't really like all of their actings. I didn't really like their acting and their performances. 
Um, not their performances, but you know, their acting. It wasn't that great. Uh, I felt like Katar, the actress who played Katara was the only, Katara was the, Katara maybe, uh, oh my God, like it, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't good. It, and the jokes that uh, Soka was making, they fell flat in my opinion. But oh my God, the actor who plays Uncle Iwo, what a treasure. Oh my God, he captured the essence of Uncle Iwo from the television series. He was great. And I don't, I don't, I, I recognize the actor, but I, I don't know uh, his name. But man, I love him so much. It, it, was, it was great seeing him cast in this television series. Same thing with uh, the actor who played Fire Lord uh, Ozai. But yeah, like, I, I love seeing, you know, these actors coming back in different new projects. But yeah, like, he was great. He's probably, he was probably my favorite one out of all the characters in this one. It, it, you know, the acting wasn't that great from A. Um, I was not expecting the amount of screen time from Azula than I did. Apparently, the uh, I think one of the writers or the producer, someone said that Azula is going to have more screen time. Princess Azula is going to have more screen time and more purpose than in the uh, oh, you know, in the uh, original animated television series. I was like, okay, that that's fine. I thought after seeing this show, I was like, okay, I, I see what they're trying to do with her as a character. But yeah. So that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say for Avatar The Last Airbender. The Last Airbender. Yeah, like, in my opinion, I think overall, to recap, in conclusion, uh, season one of, Av of Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender um, it's not as terrible as I feared, but it's not as great as I wanted it to be. Like, I wanted this tele, this tele, this, uh, show to be on the same level of the original Avatar The Last Airbender, which is a pretty high bar. Um, it, that original one is peak perfection. My, Man, but I would say it's pretty solid. I would say the middle part of this season was a slow burn, the pacing. Um, I felt disappointed. Uh, I was a little bit let down. I was like, uh, can we move on? To Can we please move on? Um, but yeah, like, it, you know, but that's pretty much it. I did like how fun and respectful it is to the source material. I love how like it also um, captured pretty much the main plot points in the first season of this television of the original show. Um, you know, and none of that filler or you know n nothing else. So yeah, that's all I have to say for Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, the Last Airbender, uh, pretty. Pretty solid. I do. I do hope uh, this television series. Um, it's not bad. Like it's not bad. Yeah, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Like it's in the middle. And in my opinion, I hope. I hope Netflix, please, please be smart and do not cancel yet another fucking television series. One of the things I hate about Netflix is that they cancel so many television series and they, they don't give them another chance they well but like i don't want please i don't want netflix to cancel avatar the last airbender i see potential because i see potential like this television series has potential to be better and you know with the writing and with the acting and the performances and everything i see potential there there is it there is potential for a season two. Um, 
I just want to see my girl tough. <laughs> I want to see my girl tough. I want to see tough so bad. Um, tough or tough so bad. <laughs> uh, I want to see my earthbender tough. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's, I see potential to be, you know, the writing and everything to be better, to improve from this first, this mediocre mixed uh, first season. So the, anyway, that's it. That's all I have to say for Ava for Netflix's Avatar, The Last Airbender. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for taking time to listening to my uh, thoughts and my opinion. It's a pretty long video. I've been talking for, I'm seeing right here, 20, like almost 21 minutes. Um just explaining everything in full detail uh i just you know i i hope it gets renewed for a second season anyway that's all i have to say uh thank you so much everyone and i'll see you in my next video peace out